Love stories. Movies always tend to have that little romance story tucked in there, or that romance that is blatantly the center of the film plotline. Hello, romance genre of movies. But sometimes, Hollywood creates a couple that would never, ever, ever work out, but act like we should believe that they would. Well, guess what? Carmen is here now to break that apart into tiny truth shards. I'm gonna talk to you about fictional couples that wouldn't last because, well, every relationship is its own unique flower, and in these cases, these flowers are f***ed. Beauty and the Beast. Belle, a girl who just kind of openly insults the town she lives in, is locked up by a hairy monster creature who she somehow learns to love as a monster creature, and then he turns into a man with a ponytail. So not only do they have a history of her being locked up and yelled at a bunch, but apparently her type is a hairy monster creature. So him turning into a completely different looking person might be off-putting for her. It's just a weird history for these two. I give them like less than a month. When Harry Met Sally. This one breaks my heart to say they won't last, but they won't last. They are so on again, off again, and they argue non-stop. Personality-wise, they are the opposite. So living together would be a nightmare. I mean, even the last scene of them getting interviewed shows strain and frustration in their eyes. I understand that no relationship is perfect, but no relationship is constantly full of arguing. Or it shouldn't be. 10 things I hate about you. I might get a lot of hate for this, but I will only give you honesty here. And honestly, these two won't last. Their whole relationship is based on a lie that Heath Ledger's character created to woo Julia Stiles, going into a relationship with no trust left. Also, they have nothing in common. Again, Heath faked enjoying the concerts she likes and the books she read, and he carried out huge acts, like singing along with a marching band for her. Their relationship is based on drama and lies. Also, they are going to different colleges, and long distance relationship with someone you had a lie relationship with is extra hard. The Flintstones. Fred is so angry all the time, and anytime anything goes wrong, he yells for Wilma. She is always putting up with him and always expected to fix his problems, and still Fred has some pretty serious anger issues, which makes no sense, since they live in a world full of hilarious dinosaur puns. Enchanted. The character Giselle, played by Amy Adams, grew up in a cartoon world. Yeah. So a man who lives in a human world, New York, and a princess from Cartoon World might have a tough time connecting. Or they definitely do. Also, she left her subjects. She was ruling a kingdom after all. I don't see how the pressure of her giving up a kingdom for this guy and his kid wouldn't cause massive issues. I gave up an entire kingdom for this, is an argument I would expect to hear regularly. Not to mention he definitely doesn't like her calling all the animals of the city into the house. How to lose a guy in 10 days. Andy Anderson and Ben Barry are just horrible mean people. Both of them are using each other to get ahead in their careers. In fact, she is trying to make him so unhappy that he breaks up with her in 10 days. That, to some degree, could be considered emotional torture, while he is emotionally manipulating her Doesn't so he allow. can win a bet allow. with his bros. The fact that they could be so self-involved to a stranger means that there is no doubt that in the future that they will keep with each other. That's the basis of their beautiful relationship. Silver Linings Playbook. Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence are both mentally and emotionally unstable, and not in a way where they help each other get better. They are, in fact, harmful to each other's well-being. Dancing together will not fix that, and they both need to take a second and figure themselves out before they can really commit to another person. Both of them are treating the fact that they suffer from depression and bipolar disorder like it's a quirky joke when it's not. It is really difficult to live with. I mean, you don't have to be in a perfect mental state to be in a relationship, but realistically, the two of them are not in a healthy relationship. The Lion King. Simba is the only male lion in a group of lions, so he's gonna be procreating with a ton of other lionesses. That's how lion prides work. His whole deal is making a bigger pride of lions. He's not gonna be faithful to Nala, and I don't see her being super cool with that. Well, unless they're cool with an open relationship, but that would make for a really strange Disney movie. I guess you could say I'm not failing the love tonight. I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about how all of these fake relationships would never work out. I'm gonna go look at myself in the mirror and say, love exists, Carmen. Love, love exists. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked the video. And uh, 
please let us know which of these relationships you think would probably be the most disastrous. You know, because this is what we think about fake people. <laughs>